Hey, hey, baby doll. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Relax, baby. The safe is houses. We'll keep them locked up in the bank upstairs right next to the money. It's serious protection. Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. The Aces Theater upstairs always has hot acts raring to go. Check it out. Have a good time, baby. It's the asshole. He's here. What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. That broad everyone saw go in the Lucky 38, that was you? Oh, shit. You making a pass at me, sister? Because I'm out of your league. Did those bullets scramble your egg? Or have you always been a naughty broad? You're one sick pussycat, baby. There's Quinn's, and then there's... I don't even know what to call you. I hear dig from you, babe, and all I can think of is a shovel. How can this be? This ain't forgiveness. It's something wrong. All right, honey, baby. This is all kinds of wrong, but to my sweet it is. Thirteenth floor. Don't keep me waiting. Hey. are not really going to sleep with him. Just don't make me watch, uh, okay? Benny's gonna show you the tops. I hope you're built sturdy, you crazy broad. More than you ever dreamed, baby. You're platinum, pussycat. You know how to swing. Nice Charlies, too. Give him a shake for the Ben man, will you? Hello. Oh, that was a nice bit of hey hey, girly. You're a real ring-a-ding broad. Hold me, will you? I swear you wore me out. Mm -mm -mm. Huh? Oh!
Without leadership, the fiends are as good as dead. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, and how can I make your day? Well, it was my idea. Well, me and the rest of the Rad Pack boys. We took it to Benny, and he thought it was a good idea. A few years later, here we are. The best show in New Vegas. Well, apart from serving as a talent manager, show schedule, and all-around man in charge of this fine theater, I happen to be its headline act. Every night from 8 till midnight, come on by to see the Rad Pack Review live, only right here at the Aces Theater. Well, acts are a bit thin on the ground right now, but every night from 8 to midnight, we got the Rad Pack Review. Songs, dancing, jokes, we got it all. Sure, baby, sure. Tommy's always looking for new talent to bring to the Aces. Tell you what, you see any good acts while you're out wandering, give them my card. If they work out, I'll give you a 3% cut of the door. Just swing back by as you recruit folks. I'll get you your bread. Ooh, a shop customer. All right, all right, 5% it is. Now, why would you want to go breaking Tommy's heart asking a question like that? Here I run the finest entertainment venue in all New Vegas, and you're asking me, what else is there? Nothing close to what we got here at the Tops, that's for sure. It's cool, baby. Tommy's a forgiving fella. Take it easy, baby. Hello. of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy a second time. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. I am the greatest of Kaisar's frumentari. It was not a challenge to find you, nor is this my first visit to the Strip. Go to him, and you will understand. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Kursor Lukulus will be waiting. The Legion wants to see you? That's serious business. We need to be careful. Interested in taking me out for a drink in one of the casinos? That might be fun. Where to, partner? floor. Your move, Green. So, Benny has been handled, and you've recovered the platinum chip. Let's have it. Such a small thing, isn't it? And yet so capacious, 
so very dear. Decades of hiring salvagers out west to search for this little relic in the ruins of a place called Sunnyvale. Back then, anyway. That's where the chip was printed on October 22nd, 2077. It was to have been hand-delivered to me here at the Lucky 38 the next day. But the bombs fell first. Suffice it to say, the delivery was never made. A great deal shall be happening. A cascade of events with you taking a central role. At the moment, however, all you need to do is take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level. You'll understand soon enough. Step closer to the demonstration area, if you would. I expect you're well familiar with my Securitrons by now. The titanium alloy housing that protects its electronic core deflects small arms and shrapnel easily enough. Its X-25 Gatling laser, produced to spec by Glassinghouse Inc., is deadly against soft targets at medium range. And for close-range suppression or crowd control, the Securitron is armed with a 9mm submachine gun. All of this you probably already knew. What you did not know is that these are the Securitron's secondary weapons. All this time, my Securitrons have had to get by running the Mark I operating system, which lacked software drivers for their primary weapons. Today, with the delivery of the Platinum chip, all that changes. Behold, for the first time, Securitrons running the Mark II OS. The M235 missile launcher gives the Securitron the ability to engage ground and air targets at significantly longer ranges. And a rapid-fire G-28 grenade launcher ensures the Securitron is deadly in close-range engagements. The software upgrade also includes drivers for the Securitron's highly sophisticated onboard auto-repair systems. Altogether, the Mark II software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness per unit. The city of New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. Return to the penthouse now. We have much to discuss. Trips to the basement are rarely so educational, don't you think? I've since broadcast the upgrade to every Securitron in range of my transmitters, and I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the strip. To secure the future of New Vegas, I must have your assistance. The work ahead is dangerous, but you weather danger well. The next step will require you to infiltrate Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. You'll recognize it on sight. The hatch bears the logo of the Lucky 38, same as the Platinum chip. Something very important. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. So don't bother asking. I'm not offering you an incentive as crude as money, though there'll be plenty of that. What I'm offering you is a ground floor opportunity in the most important enterprise on Earth. What I'm offering is a future for you and for what remains of the human race. What did you want to discuss? That's because he ceased to be relevant when you recovered the Platinum chip. Revenge doesn't interest me. Progress does. Sorry to deny you a moment of primate triumph, but you'll have to go elsewhere to sound your barbaric yawp. What else did you want to discuss? General Oliver's strategy, or tunnel vision, as I like to call it, 
has been to mass troops at Hoover Dam. He wants to outfight the Legion in a straightforward slugging match, and then, when they rout, pursue and destroy them in detail. A crushing, decisive victory of this sort would overshadow the tactical ingenuity of Chief Hanlon's defense four years ago, you see. A good deal should be obvious to you by now. I won't spoil the rest by talking out of turn. What else did you want to discuss? I've resurrected Vegas, spirit intact. What I need now is the ability to enforce my rightful claim. Not just against Caesar's Legion, by the way. In fact, the NCR is a more present and insidious threat. To enforce, one must have force, a position of strength. Years ago, when I detected NCR scouts roaming the Mojave, I could tell from their uniforms that these were no mere tribesmen. I knew it was only a matter of time before an army appeared to take control of the dam, and I knew my Securitrons wouldn't be enough to oppose them. And so I recruited the three families. Vegas belongs to me because I mustered enough strength to bring the NCR to the bargaining table. Indeed it was, and still is, but not without taking significant casualties. Would Kimball and Oliver have traded the lives of hundreds of soldiers for absolute control of Hoover Dam? Oh, yes. They weren't afraid of me. They were afraid of Caesar, that attacking me would leave them vulnerable to a legion offensive. And so they negotiated, not out of the kindness of their hearts, as they try to make it seem, because the calculus of power left no other choice. NCR forces were permitted to occupy Hoover Dam and establish a military base at McCarran Airport. Well, it used to be one. They recognized my sovereignty over the Vegas Strip and agreed to supply electricity and water once their engineers repaired the dam. Written into the treaty were provisions that the NCR do nothing to prevent its soldiers and civilians from visiting the Strip. That's how I harness the NCR to my endeavor. Their occupation has been the engine of my growing economy. The salient issue is that they will go to war with me if given the chance. There's just one reason why the NCR hasn't contrived some outrage to justify invading the Strip. Caesar's Legion. The final battle between those two armies is fast approaching. I can't afford to let either side win on their terms. What else did you want to discuss? <sighs> Hoover Dam, of course. A hydroelectric dam. The NCR had it up and running at 50% capacity within a year of occupying the dam. By treaty, New Vegas receives 5% of its output. More than enough. What else did you want to discuss? It was a place of splendor. As magnificent as today's strip may seem, it's but a shadow of the neon paradise that was Las Vegas. I grew up not far from here, and though I traveled the old world extensively, I never found another place like it. By 2065, I deemed it a mathematical certainty that an atomic war would devastate the Earth within 15 years. Every projection I ran confirmed it. I knew I couldn't save the world, nor did I care to, but I could save Vegas, and in the process, perhaps save mankind. I set to work immediately, I thought I had plenty of time to prepare. As it turned out, I was 20 hours short. On the day of the Great War, 77 atomic warheads targeted Las Vegas and its surrounding areas. My networked mainframes were able to predict and force transmit disarm code subsets to 59 warheads, neutralizing them before impact. Laser cannons mounted on the roof of the Lucky 38 destroyed another nine warheads. The rest got through, though none hit the city itself. A suboptimal performance, admittedly. 
If only the Platinum Chip had arrived a day sooner. The Platinum Chip was printed in Sunnyvale, California on October 22nd, 2077, the day before the Great War. It was to have been delivered by courier the following afternoon, but by then, the world had ended. The chip contained vital software upgrades, but not just for my Securitrons. Every aspect of the missile defense grid would have been upgraded, too. Given that I had to make do with buggy software, the outcome could have been worse. I nearly died as it was. Software glitches set off a cascade of system crashes. I had to take the Lucky 38's reactor offline, lest it melt down. For nearly five years, I battled power outages and more system crashes until I finally managed to reboot my data core with an older version of the OS. I spent the next few decades in a veritable coma, but I survived, obviously, and eventually thrived. What else did you want to discuss? Goodbye. Where to, partner? Casino floor. Excuse me, but... Are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology, how he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. Ah, I see. I suppose I can give you some medical supplies for your efforts. I assure you, they will be worth plenty of caps. Great! I'll have the medical supplies for you by the time you come back. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Have you seen the new security upgrades?
I pity anyone who gets testy with those bots now. The Nikon are amazing on the sneak, aren't they? Have you seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You can see it for miles. Well, howdy. This is Underpass. We're a small community, uh, recently formed. And so far, we've been doing good for ourselves. Our crops are doing well, so far. Not everything is going well, however, but that's besides the point. We're doing well for ourselves, and that's all that matters. Distressed is an understatement. We've got a major problem on our hands right now, and I don't know what to do. You see those big water tanks? They're purifiers. Water purifiers. This is where we get our water, and why we settled here. But well... We haven't gotten them to work at all since we arrived. They just make scratching noises and then shut off. If we can't get them to work, we're gonna have to pack up and move someplace else. But I'll be damned if I take my people to Freeside. Oh, you can? Well, be my guest. If you can fix it, though, I'm certain the town could scrounge together something to give you. It's over there by the traveling salesman. Let me know how it goes. I wouldn't exactly be surprised. We're up and coming, if anything. I mean, we just recently settled here. We don't get a lot of traffic as it is. But we're going to be here to stay. We're all armed and the fiends don't come out this far. The NCR isn't slapping those criminal taxes on us, neither. Why, I'm Meg Reynolds, mayor of this little town. Pleased to meet you. Nothing positive, I can tell you that much. They're criminals, all of them. The troopers, the rangers, the politicians. All of them bullies who take and steal land and water for themselves. I hope the Legion kicks their sorry asses out of the region soon before they decide to start expanding out this way. I'd hate to have to start paying taxes. Oh, I've heard wonderful things about them. Absolutely wonderful. Well, minus the crucifixions and slavery. I've heard they keep their roads protected, and their settlements secured from outside threats. They have zero tolerance for raiders. Not only that, but they also don't demand taxes for every little thing you do or buy. I certainly wouldn't mind living under the banner of the bull. I've heard the stories. I know, I know. But I doubt they'd enslave me. I have some facts to back that up, too. One, we're out of the way. Not even the NCR comes out this way. I'm sure the Legion wouldn't blink twice at our little town here. Two, they'd be too busy with the NCR to worry about a small settlement under an overpass. Too busy slaughtering their troopers and the like. Damn, that's kind of violent, actually. Still, the Legion is the better of two evils, I say.
Bye. Howdy. Howdy. Well, howdy. How's that purifier coming along? Really? You fixed it? Hallelujah. You have my thanks, friend. Because of you, our little town has been saved. We don't have to move now. Here, I went around collecting a reward from the people. This is all we could scrounge. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you, I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling, and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? Oh, lordy, lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? What rock have you been living under? They're a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory, and you're as good as mincemeat. There is a way, and I'll tell you, for a little wager. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. All right, I suppose I can cut you a deal, but not a cap lower. I gotta make a living here. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, I'll pay double your wager if you make it back.
Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. Then just... just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Follow close, and mind your behavior. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Prophecy. Do we look like a bunch of religious idiots? I just hoped a savage, oh, outsider, sorry, would make it to our gates before one of those armies out there comes knocking. That's right, child. Mother Pearl knows a storm is gathering. Times are changing. Maybe time for us to change a little, too. Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sev... Uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Evening. Hey.
found the missing patrols? Or was there something else on your mind? They were all dead then. I suppose I'm not surprised. We have few friends in the world above, and many enemies. But we must turn our minds to other matters. When I sent the patrols, I also sent three knights out on scouting missions. When the patrols failed to return, we assumed the worst. We sent a single communication to the scouts to hold position and maintain radio silence. I want you to contact those scouts and gather their reports. Like the patrols, they have devices on them that will enable you to track them. When you find them, tell them you're my representative and ask them if the bears are still hunting. That should get them to talk to you. Return when you've gathered all the reports. What do you want? And don't try anything funny. You speak truly, for it is unlikely that an outsider would know both the Elder's name and that passphrase. Very well. I've been observing the penal facility there in the distance for some time now, after having followed some rather disturbing rumors. The facility was run by the NCR for a time, but the prisoners overcame their guards and now use the prison as a base from which to conduct raids. What puzzles me is why these men have been allowed to run wild for so long unchecked. Why has the NCR not retaken this place? Give this to the Elder. My observations are all within. Perhaps he will have a better idea of what this situation portends.
Hey, don't take another step if you value your life. For what purpose do you approach me? Strange that the Elder should send an outsider, but I suppose he has his reasons. My observations have mostly focused on the small town to the south of here. It was cruelly attacked, its inhabitants slain nearly to the last. That such an act could occur so far west is nearly unthinkable. The NCR has forces in all directions, and an outpost scant miles west from here. That they have not responded to this violence shows either an unwillingness or inability to properly defend their borders, which is telling. I've collected such musings in this report. Please take it to the Elder. Morning. Approach slowly, stranger. If you have no business with me, then go. Then I am sworn to report. I've been dividing my time between the camps to the north and south of here. One belongs to the NCR, the other to a band of slavers known as Caesar's Legion. I was sure the NCR would quickly win, but that has not happened. Instead, the two sides have reached a stalemate, and only occasionally send skirmishers against one another. If I didn't know better, I'd say neither side is confident enough to push for a full victory. Which seems strange given the NCR's technological edge. In any event, I've recorded my findings in this report. Please deliver it to the Elder. I'm sure he will find the contents most interesting. What happened with the scouts? Do you have word on that, or do you have something else to discuss? Good. Let's take a look. If I'm reading this right, it appears that the NCR's grip on this region is nowhere near as firm as I thought. I'll have to review this in detail. But these reports have given me much to think about. Thank you, Outsider. You've become someone I can count on. I believe I can share something rather confidential with you. The device that creates the sandstorms was used to hide our location. It was only intended to be used in emergencies. It was never meant to be used with regularity, and the other systems here were not designed to accommodate such usage. It simply cannot handle the amount of sand and grit which has accumulated over the past few years. As a result, the system is failing, albeit slowly. I'm told we only have a few months left before it shuts down. Should that happen, it will become impossible to breathe here in the bunker. The air quality is already worsening. I would like you to find the components we need to fix this bunker's air filtration system. I cannot overstate the importance of this task. See Senior Knight Lorenzo for the details. He's the one that brought the matter to my attention, and the only other person who is aware of it. <laughs> 